girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Listen. Back with another video. It's your girl, Rissa D. And I'm back. Whoa. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> welcome back to my channel it's your girl Rissa Dean if you are new here then a welcome girl I am coming at you with a new video this is part of my side hustle to small business series I already did episode one which was like in July of last year and it was supposed to be a monthly video thing or whatever following my journey of side hustle to small business but you know life happens and here's episode two so episode two will be kind of like an update of what's going on with me my entrepreneurial life journey whatever so yes if you are interested in that then stay tuned you may not or you may know that my business name is Rissa Dean Creations. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. We on TikTok now, so follow us on TikTok as well. But Rissa Dean Creations is a custom craft and graphic design business. It started off as just custom t-shirts, but I have been getting more into different type of crafts. I've started doing the welcome signs, the wood um, front porch leaners. And I've done some acrylic signs. Um, I can put vinyl just about on anything that you needed to be put on. I do the cups. I, I don't do tumblers. Like, let me put that out there. I don't do tumblers. But I can put vinyl on cups and stuff like that. Um, sublimation on mugs and stuff like that. But I haven't really gotten into the tumblers yet. So, I'm going to leave that where it's at. But... You know, but I might, you know what I'm saying? Because I just like to learn different stuff and I like to be in my crafty space. Also, I really enjoy learning about graphic design. I took a um a class on Adobe. Like I've always used Canva. So what I have also started is an Etsy shop. On my Etsy shop so far is just um digital flyers, edit editable flyers for people who have businesses. So if you are a business owner, then check out my Etsy shop, Rissa Dean Creations, and you can find a few listings on there right now. I am adding listings every week, and it's just different flyers for your business. If you need like a new arrivals flyer, um, a sale flyer, you know, all of that type of stuff, then check me out. Okay? Also, I finally been learning how to do sublimation. I've been having a sublimation printer for a while, and I've been learning how to do it. You can only use polyester with sublimation. Um, you can use cotton. It's different ways around it to using cotton and stuff like that. I haven't got that far, but yeah, I'm kind of using sublimation a little bit here and there. So like I said, I might want to get into the tumblers because I see people use sublimation with tumblers and stuff like that. So, you know, whatever. We'll see how they go. You know, I'm just always learning and I like to be in my little space in here, my little office slash makeup room slash closet. You know, this is my space and I just love it. And also, Resident Creations, our motto is you think it, we create it. You think it, we create it. I should make the words pop up right there. Like, yeah, I should do that. But that's the motto because everything is custom like everything is custom that i that i do as far as residing creations that's why it is residing creations i like to create i like to be creative so that is my residing creations business in a nutshell but however i am bringing back tunnel vision shirts and that whole and i have a bunch of different designs already lined up and stuff like that and i want this to be a t-shirt brand originally when i got my cricket that is the um that was the idea to have a t-shirt brand not doing custom shirts but i did my sister's um i did my nephew's first birthday party shirts and it just took off from there and everybody just started asking me to do custom shirts birthday parties stuff like that which is fine but i wanted to start off doing a custom i mean i wanted to start off doing a t-shirt brand 
and so that's what i'm gonna do my vision brand means a lot to me it's it's like my little baby you know what i'm saying my vision can be seen as negative or a positive and most of the time people see it as a negative but tunnel vision is when you only see what's in front of you you only see what's ahead of you and that's how i feel like a lot of people when you have goals you need to just be focused on that you you only see like this you always see your goals straight ahead all this other stuff over here and all this other stuff over there what about it i only see my goals you know what i'm saying like that's how i feel um about tunnel vision and it just means so much to me because like that's that's the season i'm in that's i be in a season a lot actually when it's just tunnel vision it's just me and my goals you know what i'm saying the things that i'm trying to do like i want to be a good mom that's all i see i want to be a good wife that's all i see i want to continue to have a close relationship and grow my grow my relationship with god that's all i see you know what I'm saying? I want to be a better me. You know? Like, I want to have successful businesses. You know? Like, that's all I see. So, that's tunnel vision. That's the whole thing behind, besides tunnel vision. Some people can see it in a negative light. And you can see it in a positive light according to, like, the Google definition. But, it's definitely a positive in my eyes. Because I ain't going to let nothing come and distract me all this stuff over here and all this stuff over there if it's a distraction it ain't bettering me towards my goals i don't see it <laughs> i'll let you guys know when the lunch date is because i'm not quite sure right now and i don't want to lie to you so i'll keep y'all updated on that but yes this entrepreneurial um journey is not easy like it's not easy at all it's it's tough because you your own boss you make your own hours like all of this stuff like and especially with me as a person trying to get better with time management it's definitely hard for me but i want to see my business and my business i want to see my businesses thrive so it's like i gotta figure it out no matter what i gotta figure out time management no matter what because I want to see them grow and I want I want them to be successful, which they will. So yeah, this whole series is just my journey of growing as an entrepreneur. I'm trying to get to the bag. That's all it is. So that is it for this video, you guys. Um at the end of February, the last Monday in February, there will be another Style Hustles and Small Business series, episode three. So make sure that y'all check that out. And also, I have new videos coming out every Monday um, at 8 a.m. So make sure that you are right here. Make sure that you subscribe. And if you haven't already, go check out episode one of this series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.